The Knicks just play defense so well. They, You know how meaningful it is for me to see this? How much it warms my heart and makes me feel like life is okay? First of all, I mean, look at these rotations on this play. First of all, on the screen. No, we're not in drop coverage. Isaiah Hartenstein's up. Watch OG Ananobi. Look at how aggressive he gets in the gaps right here. Look at it. Hartenstein's up. Ananobi in the gaps. Now Ananobi's going to force Jason Tatum to the strong side of the floor. Look at DiVincenzo getting in the gaps from the strong side corner. Hartenstein coming over to double. And I mean, the rotations just don't stop. Look at Jalen Brunson come up. Isaiah Hartenstein stay in the paint to help on the ball. Isaiah Hartenstein's in help. OG Ananobi's running underneath the rim and help. And now he can recover. Then again, we're rotating in. OG Ananobi right back and help on Drew Holiday for us to turnover. First of all, here comes the transition defense. This is what I'm talking about in transition. Isaiah Hartenstein, Dante DiVincenzo. Isaiah Hartenstein's man's not even in the frame. DiVincenzo's man, Jalen Brown, is across half court. Does not matter. We're not walking back. We're sprinting back to the three-point line. Getting in the gaps on the ball. Look how they swarm the ball right here. Hartenstein, DiVincenzo, no place to go. Now on this pick and roll right here, you're going to see, you know, it doesn't take much for OG on and Obi to get over the top of the screen. So Isaiah Hartenstein is going to play a little bit off, and he's going to come up at the right moment. All he's got to do is stunt at the ball for a second, and OG on and Obi's back in the play. Then he can recover on the portal, get come up on the ball. That gets Tatum to hesitate just a little bit. On and Obi's right back in the play, and you end up with contested crap. It's just back-to-back -back clips. I mean, it, it's, it's so meaningful to watch this. It, it's so representative of what, of what we all can become. I mean, look at Isaiah Hartenstein again up on the screen. Again, OG Ananobi gets with his wingspan, his athleticism, his ability to get in the gaps right this year. Up on the screen, Ananobi all the way in the gaps. Steal, dunk. Same exact thing. It's literally right after the dunk. So again, Isaiah Hart OG Ananobi gets underneath, gets to the three-point line in the gaps. Hartenstein plays up. So you got to help in the gaps right there. You have Hartenstein playing up. Now you're going to see DiVincenzo immediately rotate to the ball to dig down low. You end up with a turnover. This is NBA basketball. This is how NBA teams need to play basketball. This utter garbage you see defensively. The Look at Mitchell Robinson up on the screen. Up on the, no, no open threes. We're not in deep drop coverage. Up on the screen. I don't even know why Miles McBride's in the paint right here. He doesn't need to be. But so on this, look at this. Perfect X out. Bogdanovich is going to rotate to McBride's man. McBride's going to X out onto Sam Hauser. So you're playing up on the screen. Perfect X out. Get a contest on the three. Here we go again on the pick and roll. I mean, you go watch like a Sacramento Kings game and brain dead Mike Brown. Or brain dead Frank Vogel in Phoenix. My God. Look how the Knicks play defense again. Up on the screen. Mitchell Robinson connected to the screener. Up on the screen. Up. Up. We're not Jason. No off the dribble threes. Right there. Terrible. I get emotional watching this. I really get emotional watching this because this is how basketball should be played. This is how you coach basketball. All this crap around the NBA. Jalen Brunson's going to hedge. But there's no reason not to hedge. Because Mitchell Robinson's standing in. There's no place for Derek White to roll to or to pop to. You're not letting Jason Tatum turn the corner. Look at this. Steal. Started off right here. OG Ananobi. Again, not in drop coverage. Up and hedging. Now watch Jelligan. Up and hedging. No place for Derek White to go to. Now Josh Hart one-on-one -on -one with Jalen Brown. Look at Josh Hart. Absorb the contact from Jalen Brown right here. See, look at this. He Jalen Brown's not able to move Josh Hart off his spot right here. Look at Get low. Get physical. Turn around. Nothing. Get the Knicks again swarm to the ball. Drew Holiday's going to go ISO on Jalen Brunson. So look at Precious Sachiua. Get a great post dig in here. Isaiah Harton, so you're going to get a post dig and Isaiah Harton sign staying to double. Now watch these rotations. OG Ananobi up. Isaiah Harton signed to the top of the key. Rotate once, rotate twice. Now look at Jalen Brunson's going to rotate over, get a charge. I mean, that's playing on a string. Here you go again. Jalen Brunson hedging the screen with backside help with Isaiah Hartenstein. Hedge the screen. I have backside help. So now, and look at Isaiah Hartenstein is going to stick around, double, get the dribble picked up, and end up with a. This is why you ice screens. You got to know where your backside help is. And the Knicks know this. They're icing the screen. So now when Kristaps Porzingis pop, see if you run drop coverage here, Kristaps Porzingis is going to be popping to an empty strong side wing. But when you force him to pop to the weak side wing, now Precious Sachiu is easily in backside help. Then Hartenstein goes from icing the screen on to Jalen Brown. It's perfect. End up with a contest. You get nothing out of it.
Everyone plays on a string for the Knicks. Now, Jalen Brunson's going to get caught staring at the ball right here. He's going to get beat off the dribble. Doesn't matter. DiVincenzo in the gaps. Josh Hart stepping up to double. OG Ananobi coming over to help the helper, so that's not a lob. Then on the kickout pass, OG Ananobi comes to help the helper. Look at them swarm the ball right there. Now OG Ananobi is able to immediately rotate out once the dribble's picked up, contest, and get zero. And the Knicks are almost okay with getting beat off the dribble here. Ananobi's going to get beat off the dribble by Tatum because they swarm and they rotate so well. Ananobi comes and help. Look at this. Jalen Brunson all the way from the strong side corner in the gaps. Josh Hart coming over to double. Look at Dante DiVincenzo immediately rotating for the wing up to the top of the key. Ananobi moving back over to double. You end up with a steal, a turnover. This is the shell drill in a game. This is perfect. Josh Hart not hugging the three-point line, rotating to the ball. His back remains to the baseline. Jalen Brown's going to spin off Jalen Brunson. And again, it doesn't matter because you're in the gaps. You're rotating to the ball. Get your hands on the ball, force a miss. This is, again, this is just so meaningful. You have to understand how much this means to me to see this. You're hedging the screen. Thank God. Mitchell Robinson and backside help on the screen. Now look when Mitchell Robinson recovers right here. Look at how he's constantly, and he's still seeing ball. Still seeing man. Look at head on a swivel. See that? See man back to the ball. See man back to the ball. That's, this is a layup right here. But Mitchell Robinson, head on a swivel. Look at him take a look. Look at see my man move. Me immediately back to the ball. If he's staring at the corner for anything longer than the split second that he is, this is a layup. But I'm seeing ball. I'm, I'm in backside help. Nothing.